No me escucha nada. Tengo problema. Hola. Hola. Hi, class. Hey. Hi. Hi, this is teacher, the teacher. Teacher, me escucha. Cesar, yes, I can. No. Ah, pues, Lely. ¿Me Aleli. escuchas, Cesar? Sí, sí, te escucho. A Lely pero... no está teniendo problemas, me imagino. Porque yo le, yo le estoy hablando y me dice que no me escucha. Hoy oh, sí, ya te escucho. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. So, hey class, welcome. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo está eso del apagón? ¿Les afectó? Sí, un buen rato. Sí, un buen rato, ¿verdad? Lo mismo. Eh, yo pensé que no iba a poder ahora conectarme porque el internet se me falló. Uh -huh. Pero ya sí, hace un A Leli unos... le estaba fallando también. ¿verdad? Sí, a, a, a varios creo que nos falló. Sí, hace como media hora ya regresó, creo. Yo dije, esperemos que esté estable el internet para que no tengamos problemas. Oh. Puedo ver a oh, María Dios. Lucila también. Hi, María. Pablo está ahí también. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hola, buenas noches. Mucho gusto, teacher. Igualmente. Teacher, ¿cómo, teacher lea una pregunta. ¿Cómo hace para <risa> permanecer siempre fresca? <risa> Optimista, <risa> diría yo. Bien así, o sea, bien. How was the smell? Really? I don't know, yeah. you know, este, no sé, no hago nada en específico. No saben sí, que... Sí, eh... Uy, sí que sí, yo, yo ahorita estoy que caigo del sueño. ¿En serio? <risa> I don't know, saben que no, eh, mi primer clase es a las 7 de la mañana, creo que es la que más me cuesta a las 7, estar sentada y dando clases, yeah. tiene smiling. Creo que se me olvida simplemente, se me olvida. ¿Y desde, la, desde las 7 empiezo a dar clases? No, tengo diferentes grupos. El primero si es a las 7, luego tengo uno en la ¿Pero clase. siempre son con inglés corporativo? Eh, no. 10 estudiantes ya, 10 estudiantes. Aquí vamos. Ahí vamos con todo. Bien, it's nice to see you. I can see Walter, Elvis. Elvis Presley. Good evening. Welcome. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. ¿Cómo estuvo lo del apagón? ¿Saben cómo se dice apagón en inglés? How do you say that in English? No. No light. No. No, no light. No, no, no. 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 Off. off. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. No. Blackout. Aquí, teacher, a Lely, a Lely, Elvis y yo le damos humor a la clase. El grupo, no, anterior, no, el grupo anterior nos están clamando que... Uy, sí, no cómo nos extrañan. Pues el, es el que un grupo de WhatsApp. En la tierra chavalita para... Uh, voy a desconectar la cámara un momentito. No worry, go ahead, please. Go ahead. Gracias, gracias. El no se ha ido la luz aquí. Hemos estado Si sí, fue a nivel, a nivel internacional, por ejemplo, fue en Guatemala, ¿Sí? Honduras y El Salvador. Sí, esa es la Argentina? noticia que pasó. Fue como Chalaco está ¿no? cerca de Europa ya. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> es internacional, Lili, es regional. Exacto. <risa> Tampoco en Soya se fue, no. teacher. Imagine. No, fue en soya, wow. No. Pero en Ilopango sí Pero dijo no, Walter. En Estados Unidos está sin energía. Hubo no una vez un apagón feito. Sí, yes. pero sí estuvo feo. Casi Imagine, no exactly. En mi case, yo no se me fue la luz, pero sí el internet. Entonces, ese no fue mi inconveniente. Pero yo creo que ya yo, se restableció. Yo, yo comprando right? en una, eh, comprando queso andaba ahí. De repente apagó <risa> todas las computadoras y todas las manos ahí. Que, sí, sí, ya ni quería vender. Ya ni quería vender. Ya ni quería vender. Ya ni quería vender. Ya ni Ya ni quería vender. Ya ni quería Ya no dejen entrar a nadie porque aquí se van a huellar todo. <risa> Ok, claro. Salgan okay. los vigilantes. No, y, y lo chistoso es que de repente dicen, salgan los vigilantes, vigilantes, va y ven para acá con, la, con los teléfonos alumbrando. Porque no, o sea, sobre la, 
No, yo sé, es, es bien ah. difícil. Tuvimos eh, incluso el tráfico se pausó, o sea, varias Uy, cosas sí. que sí, estuvieron sí, claro. afectadas y detenidas por un momento. Pero miren, aquí los tengo. Qué bueno, ya estamos. 19 students oh, already. Eh, thank you so much for that. being here. Thank you so much, you know. Eh, in this case, well, yesterday we were practicing the use of irregular verbs in English, right? And you were asking me, teacher, but how do we do it? ¿Cómo hacemos para memorizarlo? Estuve revisando varias información. Y hay mucha información interesante. Take a look at this one. We are going to start with that one right now. ¿Cómo hacemos para memorizarlo de una forma más sencilla, más fácil? Let me show you this one. I'm going to send this PDF document so you can practice. Pero practiquen, chicos. Miren, hay muchas formas. Eh, esta me gustó bastante, muy interactiva. We have the verb, and then we have. Break. In this Break. case, siempre saben que vamos a encontrar los cuadros con el pasado y el participio, porque es bien común también tener el verbo en participio en las listas, porque lo usamos más adelante. So, me gustó esta forma de que nos indican. Por ejemplo, we have bring. Okay. Y la forma en pasado y participio no cambian. Van a right. ser lo mismo. Uh -huh. Lo representan right. con colores. With different colors. So bring. And then we have the simple past. And the past participle. participle that they are going to stay the same. Bring. Wrote. Wrote. Build. Built. Built. And we have some examples. By. Both. Uh -huh. both. Then we have another chart that is in green. Green color. If you see, we have the beginning of the verb or the base form of the verb, like bite. bite. Y luego, si se fijan, the past and the participle, no van a cambiar, solo le agregamos una N. Bite. Bit. Bit. Bitten. Okay. Break. Broke. Broken. Shoes. Shows. Chosen. So, no. then we have another group. Esta es como clasificación de grupos. Grupos los han clasificado. Pink. Take a look at the pink color. I, I am. I am going to send it. Then we have the pink color. We have the verb in the base form. Do. Then we have a, a simple past. Did. And then we have the verb in the simple present form. But we are going to add end. Es la primera forma que encontré. Primera forma. Let me show you another one. Esta es una forma. Grupos. Grupos. Luego encontré. Let me send you another one. ¿Qué es esta? Eh, más que todo hay tres clasificaciones generales. How do we classify the verbs? Look at this one. Encontré una lista también, pero esa no le puedo descargar todavía. Verbos que no cambian. ¿Ok? Simple present, simple past, and past participle, they are going to remain the same. Bet, bet, bet. Coast, coast, coast. So, en ese caso sería un poco más fácil aprenderlos. En grupos. Grupos. Um, I was checking this information. How many verbs do we need to learn to be able to speak? or to express ideas in the simple past. And there are around 200 verbs. Son como los más básicos o los más usados. 200 verbs. If you want to express ideas in the present or in the past. 200. So I'm going to send this to WhatsApp so you can practice. Remember that this is the only way. If we practice, if we memorize, we are going to be able to, uh, not to forget about this one. So, uh, también hay muchos videos. If you go to YouTube, you can also check a lot of videos that they are going to help you with pronunciation mostly, right? Because remember, you need to listen and try to imitate the correct pronunciation. So. These are some uh, ideas for you to memorize verbs with the simple past tense, right? So 
I'm going to send this one. But before, let me see. I, I would really like to see you. How about Rebecca, Gerson, Marina, Jessica, Rosemary, Roxana, and Jessica? Where are you girls and boys? Teacher, eh, solicito permiso para estar solo como oyente porque todavía no he llegado a mi casa. Okay, that's okay. How about the rest? Now I can see Gerson. Hi, Gerson. Now I can see, I'm still missing Good Rebecca, evening. Roxana. I can see Jessica as well. Good evening. Bien. Hay algunos que todavía no los conozco. Right now, mentiras. Chicos, enciendan su cámara. Pues podemos interactuar, right? So we can interact. Here we go, class. Let's check the attendance list. So I'm going to call you by your name, please. Say here or present. Here we go. Today is May 18th. Wednesday, May 18th. Veamos, Aleli Concepción. Present teacher. Ana Stephanie. Cesar Alexander. I am sleepy. But you are here, excellent. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Fernando Arturo. Gerson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Iris Elena. Voy a salir. No hay problema. Irma. Irma Raquel. Okay. Oh, there she is. Very good. Jessica Marielos. Josué Neftalí. I'm here. <laughs> Great. Kimberly Janet. Present. Maria Lucila. Present. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nurian Karina. <clears throat> Let me see. Is Karina there? No, right? Present. Oh, okay, there she is. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Rebecca Eunice. Present teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Present. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Sonia Guadalupe. I'm here. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Jessica Marilu. It's me, teacher. And Zaira Jamilet. Present. Bien. No me mencionó mis. I did, I did. Sí lo hice. Irma, aquí le puse presente. Ok, don't worry. Ah, es que no escuché. Gracias. Ok, don't worry. Excellent. So, eh, alguien que haya reportado en el chat, no he visto el chat. Alguien que lo haya visto. No sé si hay algún compañero reportó que no va a entrar. Si me ayudan con eso para... Sí, sí poder... hay alguien que sí, ya, ya le digo, teacher. Please. Thank you. No se puede conectar. Ok, Gladys. Ya. Fernando dice. Fernando, ok. Fernando, aquí está. Ok, ¿quién más? Solo a ellos. Dice Anita también que tiene... Anita, parece... Ana Estefan. Muy bien. Ana sí. Bien, solo ellos me hacen falta, ¿verdad? Y Gladys, Gladys está aquí, no. Gladys. Porque Gladys mandó una imagen de que no se podía. No, Gladys la tengo ausente. Y Wilson, ¿lo tengo en clase? No, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos a ver qué pasa con él. Bien. 
Vamos, let's start right now. We're going to practice right now. Me falló la computadora. Okay. Bien, class. Listen, we need to practice a lot. The pronunciation of these verbs and also the correct pronunciation. <sighs> Estaba escuchando los audios que me enviaron. I was listening to the recordings that you sent, that you were recording with vocal rule. And most of you, you know, you were having problems with the ED pronunciation of verbs. But that's why I really need to listen to you again. Why? Because we need to practice a lot. So this is just going to be the beginning of the class. And then we are going to move on to a different one. So let me show you. I have three types of pronunciations in English. So let's see. Here we go. This is the first exercise for today. Look, verbs that we pronounce with T. T or ending pronounced T. Then we have a different group that we have some verbs that they are pronounced with D. D sound at the end. And also we have the group of verbs that they are pronounced id at the end, okay? So I'm going to tell you which one you are going to pronounce, which one you are going to pronounce. Remember that in this case, uh, you can read any of these columns, right? We have the same information in column number two and three. It doesn't matter. The information, it doesn't change. So. The first one that I have here is Cesar. Cesar, go ahead, please. And read all of these examples, please. What? Uh, what is teacher? Uh, cual, cualquiera de las dos columnas. In the past, past tense. The past tense? Yes, that, oh, those ones. Verb. Oh, yes. verb. White. Mm -hmm. Go. White. Okay, continue. I'm just listening. One till, white till, one till, medial, decidal, hate till, this, this, till, and deal. Okay, can you pronounce this one and this one again? White till, or wait till. Okay, the verb. Okay. How is the verb in the base form? Wait. Wait. wait, wait till. How about in the, in the end? Waiting. Exactly. Oh, pronunciation is correct. Is it, yeah. Exactly. Wait till. Wait till. This is taste. Uh -huh. Taste. Taste till. Aha. Uh -huh. Si taste no deal. recuerdo cómo se pronuncia, veo esta columna. I'm going to check the correct pronunciation in this column. Very good job. Next one. Iris okay. Elena, go ahead, please. Pronounce this example. <clears throat> Uh, your pronunciation is it? Yes, the past tense. Uh, the past tense. Waited. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Decided. Hated. It says. And ended. Okay, pronounce this one, please. Taste. Taste. Taste it. Okay, how do you pronounce in the base form? Taste. 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 So Taste. how do we pronounce it in the past? Taste. 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 Okay, okay. Taste. I like it. Let me see. I now I have Saira. Saira, help me out with this one. Saira. Okay, go ahead, Saira. Uh, the second column. Yes, that's okay, the second one. Play, show it, close it, opening, do it, love it, train, raining, learning, cleaning. Pronounce this one. Show it, opening, clean it. Okay, now pronounce it in the simple present tense. This one, how do you pronounce this one? Show. 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 So, ¿qué sonido le agregamos? Sonido de D. So, showed. Show. 
No decimos show with, no agregamos ed. Ese es el problema, chicos. Me están leyendo los verbos. We don't read verbs. We pronounce verbs. Show. Open. Open. Opened. Clean. Cleaned. Cleaned. Okay. Eso. Solo agregamos sonido. Es como que tenemos el verbo base. We have the base form. And then we add just the sound. Don't forget about that. But very good job. Eh, Jessica Marilu. Jessica Marilu, go ahead, please. Pronounce them. Played, showed, closed, opened, enjoyed, loved, tried, rain, learned, cleaned. Okay, pronounce this one. Opened. <laughs> Aha, opened. 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 Uh -uh, opened. Opened. Yes, exactly. Very good job. Opened. Let me see okay. Irma, Irma Raquel. Go ahead, please. Play, show, close, open, enjoy, love, try, try, clear, clean. This one. Loved. Loved. Loved or loved? Love. Ajá. Recuerden. Love. Love. Loved. Le agregamos de love. Love. That's okay. Very good job. Let's go back. Let me see. Aleli. Go ahead, please. Uh, work. Cook. Cook. Walk. Kiss. Like. Stop. Uh, look. Drop. Okay, remember this is the pronunciation of letter T. Pronounce this one. Locked. Once Locked. again. Locked. 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 Okay. Work. This, you, you're saying this one. Locked. 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 Eso es lo que locked. Yo. That's what I hear. Locked. It's not locked. Oh, okay. It's look. 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 Okay. It's look. Look at. Look at, are look you sure? It. Look at. Look at. Are you sure? It cook. But cook. we are practicing this sound, T, sound at the end. That's what we are practicing. Work. Work. It's worked. Worked. Yes. Cooked. Yes. Walk. Kissed. Like. Stop. And look at. Drop. How about this one? Once again. Uh, look, 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 look at. Look at, I looked. Looked. Okay. Not looking. look. Looked. It's look, look at, looked. Looked. I mean, a base form, look, look. No, it's look. look. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. But very look. good. Just practice this one. This is the one that you need to practice more. Uh, Nelson, your time okay. to practice. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, word, good, what, is, liked, up, looked, dropped. Great job. No corrections. Excellent pronunciation. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Karina, go ahead, please. Word, cook, walk, kiss, like, stop, look, drop. This one. Word, stop. Okay, remember that in the simple present, we don't say walk, we say walk. 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 Stop. Stop. Lo escuché así, así lo escuché yo. Stop. No, stopped. So you need to okay. practice those two. Pablo, go ahead, please. I know you can do it. Work. Work. Cook. Work. Kiss. Like, 
Top. Look. Drop. Only this one. Walk. Okay, let me repeat the information. We are going to pronounce this one as walk. We are not going to pronounce the L sound. No, walk, walked. Okay, walk. Mm -hmm. Walk. No, because I can listen to the L sound, no L. Quitemos esta L de aquí. Okay. No, okay, walk. like this, like this. There you go, walked. Walk. That's okay, so great pronunciation. This is the only one that you need to practice. Let me see, let's bring me back to this information. Kimberly, Kimberly, Janet. Okay. Play, show, club, open, enjoy, love, treat, range, learn, clean. Okay, but can you try to make this sound? Can you strongly pronounce this one? Pronunciémoslo fuerte. D, strong, okay. strongly, más fuerte, please. Once again. Okay. Plate, show, close, open, enjoy, lot, trade, range, learn, clean. Okay, this one. Mm, try. Train. Tried. Try. 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 That's okay. Very good job. You need to practice that, that one, okay? Let me see. Okay. Let me continue with Josué. Go ahead, please, Josué. Ahorita, permítame. <clears throat> Don't worry. Go ahead. Play. Show. Close. Close. Open. And Loved. Tried. Rain. Rain. Uh, rain. 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 Uh, learn. Learn. Clean. 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 Very good job. This was the only one that you were having problems with. Rained. With. Rain. Yes. Rain. But that's Rain. okay. Very good job. Very good job. Sonia, be ready to practice. Um, wait, waiting. One, two. Kneeling. Mm, that's it. That's it. Hating. Tasting. Ending. How about this one? Design. 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 One more Design. time. Design. Decided. Decided. That's okay. Very good. Only that one. Okay. You need to pronounce and practice this one. Okay. Maria. Maria Lucila. Go ahead, please. White. Wanted. Needed. Decided, hated, taste, ended. The first one, please. Waited, wait, wait, waited, waited. Uh -huh. How is the verb in the main form? Look, this is wait. So, how do you pronounce it in the past? Mm -hmm. Maria? Wait, wait it. Wait it. Okay, that's okay. You need to practice with that one, okay? Let me see. Uh, Roxana, Roxana, go ahead. Um, wait, wait it. Want it. Need it. Decide it. Hated, tasted, ended. This one, this one. 
Waited, desired. Waited, desired. Uh -huh. You need to pronounce it at the end, right? Lo escuché como presente, ¿ok? Waited, desired. Waited, Waited. desired. Ok, ok. Great. Rosemary. Um, ok. Waited, wanted, needed, desired, hide. Um, this, this, and it. This, this, and this. Once again, please. Round it. Hide it. Um, me puede, me las puede repetir course, y yo las rep Listen, want, but in the simple past, we can say want it. Want, want, want it. Es como le quitamos la T, want it. Hate, hate, hate it. Taste, hate, taste, taste, mm -hmm. hate, and um, taste. That's okay. Very good job. There you go. Let me see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's go back to this one. Elvis Aníbal, go ahead, please. Okay. Play, show, close. Open, enjoy, love, thrive, rhyme, mm -hmm. learn, clean. It's okay. Great, great pronunciation. No corrections. Walter. Can you oh. hear me? I can. Yes, we can. Here I go. Play, show, close, open, enjoy, love, try, rain, learn, clean. Great job. Very good job. No corrections. Thank you. Excellent. Let me ask Wilson, please. Okay. Played, showed, closed, opened, enjoyed, loved, tried, rained, rained learned, cleaned. Very good. Very good job. No corrections, excellent pronunciation. So, you. you know, I guess this is not difficult for you to pronounce. The ones that you're having problems with are these two, this and this one. So let me ask Herson, go ahead, please. What, cook, what is like, stop, look, drop. Okay, excellent pronunciation. Jessica Marielos. Work, could, walk, kit, like, stop, look, drop. Once again, please. Good, good, kit. Okay, could or cook. Good. Cook. Uh, cook. Good. Cut. Good. Yo escucho algo así como cut. But no, remember we have a K. K sound. Cook. La K. Cook. 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 One more time. One more time. Cook. 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 Good. Uh, walk. 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 One more time. Walk. Walk. 
Okay, very good. Rosemary. Yes, same teacher. Okay. Let me see. Did you participate already, Rosemary? Yes, I am ready. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah. Work it, cook it, walk it, kiss it, like, it, stop it, lock it, drop it. Drop. Okay. This is the sound that we are practicing. Uh, like um, if we are spilled, como decíamos en la clase, en una de las clases, como si estamos escupiendo. Right? Or, please, go ahead. Work it. No, wait, it. wait, wait. It's not work it. No, no, no. Work it. No estamos leyendo, lo estamos pronunciando. Porque si leemos ED, decía work it. Ahí sí, pero no, es work. 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 Desaparece como de que desapareciera la E. La D hace un solo okay. sonido de la E. Hagamos algo. A, A estos, agreguémosle el sonido de la T al final. Vamos. Work. Cut, walt, kissed, light, stopped, locked, dropped. That's okay, you see? Now you did it great. So <sighs> don't forget that. We just add the sound to the main verb or the verb in the base form. Rebecca, you're missing in Marina del Carmen later on. Okay, Rebecca, go ahead. Okay, go please. Cut, cut, work, his look. Drop. <clears throat> this one. Can you repeat this one, please, Rebecca? Walk. Otra vez. Only this one. Walk. Just repeat this one. Okay, I guess you're having problems, right? So don't worry, that's okay. And who is missing? Who is missing? Let me check. Raise your hand if you're missing. I guess I'm missing Marina. Who else is missing? I really need to listen to all of you. Marina and that's it, right? Who else? So let's have Marina right now. Go, please. Work, cook, walk, kiss, light, stop, look, drop. Can you repeat this one? Walk. Walk. What did I say? Do you remember? We are not going to pronounce the L sound. Please forget about this sound. So we say? Walked. Walked. That's okay. Very good job. Class, questions about this exercise. Questions about the pronunciation of verbs. Well, in this case, regular verbs in the simple past. You need, did you hear? You need to pronounce correctly. If not, you are not going to um, be understood by people, okay? So please practice a lot and do the same with irregular verbs. So I really needed to do this today. But don't worry, we are in the process of learning and that's okay, you know? 
what is not okay is for you to forget to practice, right? It's okay for you to have mistakes in pronunciation. That is the process of learning. But if you don't practice, you're going to be stuck in that pronunciation. So this is my advice, go and practice. Let's go to the platform. If you see, we are about to finish section number four. So it means that we are just going to have section number five is still pending, right? If you see, we still have some exercises that we really need to finish with those exercises today. So it means but for, but that for tomorrow, Thursday, you will have to be ready to present all of these exercises or people who is going to check the examples, the exercises, they are going to find all of these answers, right? So if you see in this exercise, we have a conversation and I had a two or three of you who were asking me about this one. If you notice, as I mentioned before, if we are going to make questions in English, we need to use in the simple past an auxiliary. And what auxiliary are we going to use? It can be did or it can be didn't, right? If I want to express uh, sentences, or if I want to make questions in this case, I need to use an auxiliary. And what is going to happen to the verb? The verb is going to remain the same. So we are going to complete this exercise as an example, I know that maybe you already did this one, but let me see. Look at this one. Identify the first expression. What do we have here? Is this an affirmative, interrogative, or negative sentence in the simple past? What is this? Interrogative. First, okay. First sentence is interrogative. So for interrogative. interrogative. Did you enjoy your summer? So what are we going to write here? Look at this one. We are going to have the verb in the base in the correct form. form. That's it. Okay. Why? Because we are not going to change the verb because we already have an auxiliary. Did you yeah. enjoy yeah. your summer? And then we are giving short answers. In this case, it's an affirmative. Yes, I did. And after that, we are giving some extra information. So what is the past of the verb have? Is have a regular or an irregular verb? Irregular. Irregular. Why? Why is it an irregular? In the past, it has to be uh, correct. Mm -hmm. Because we are going to change the way that we write. Exactly. And then we have another verb, another expression. Is this affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Affirmative. affirmative. Great. So is go. Yeah. Is I no went, a regular I went, or irregular verb? Regular. Regular. Not really. This is an irregular. Regular. Exactly. Because I went. It's not even a like. No se parece en nada. The simple form and the past mm. form, right? Mm. So that's why it's irregular because we are going to change completely the way that we are writing the verb. So be careful, be careful to identify this type of exercises and responses, right? So very good job. Conversation one, and you are going to complete conversation two. And the last one that is conversation number three. Well, we still have another one. 
So let's do this one, number four. Complete the conversation using the correct form of the verbs in the past tense. First, what do we have at the beginning of the conversation? Is this an interrogative sentence, negative or affirmative? Interrogative. 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 Great, this is an interrogative. So what is going to happen to the verb? Spoke. Speak. Speak. Oh, it spoke. Are you sure it spoke? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you think, Les? No. No, why not? No. It's why no. not? Speak because. Yeah. Because we are auxiliary. That's okay. okay. You need to justify. Necesitan justificarme. Why is this answer incorrect? Remember that if we have an interrogative sentence, we already have an auxiliary. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? That the verb is not going to change. So the correct speak. answer is, did you speak English last summer? Speak. speak. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I is negative. I read. Mm -hmm. What is the past of the verb read? Read. Mm -hmm. What I is the past? Read. 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 Not really. Read is in the simple present. What is the past? Who can help you? Read it. Like this. Really? Never. <laughs> this is an irregular verb. Or can you spell the verb in the simple past? It's, read. it's not read. It's read. The pronunciation is different. We are going to spell the verb in the same way, but we are going to pronounce it different. I read. Okay, I read. Leí is the pronunciation different. Red. Like red. the color, similar to the color. Red. Right. Mm -hmm. But you're going to write the verb in the same way. Read is in the simple present. Red is in the past. Red. Look. Red. Mm -hmm. Then we have questions. Yes. What? 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 What is the correct pronunciation? I what? 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 D or E D. 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 I don't know. No. You need to make sure about your response. Watch. D. What? <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. Like there's no class. You need to practice. Estaba en la segunda what? columna de nuestro ejemplo de la clase anterior. When? Watch. Watch, watch the ha exactly excellent very good job so if you don't remember what? go and check go and check your pictures go and check your book so that's okay let me write it here we go you already know how to spell this one but you forgot how to pronounce it i watched english movies so you see practice and practice and practice so what, what? watch Exactly. What do I want to conclude with this exercise? Let me stop sharing. ¿Cuál es mi conclusión? Si ustedes me responden, necesitan justificarme porque why? You need to do it, right? Eso me indica que están aprendiendo. Me justifico. ¿Por qué está mal? ¿Por qué está incorrecta? Tengo una respuesta lógica. Okay. I have a logic reply or answer. Porque está bien, tengo también una respuesta lógica. 
Solo en esa forma vamos a aprender, ¿ok? No es que si yo me equivoco, pues escribo lo que se me ocurra. No, a todo hay una regla. Por eso aprendemos reglas, rules. In English, it's very important to remember the rules, right? So, don't forget to practice pronunciation. So, this was just an example. If you see, in this exercise, we were practicing that whenever we have a question, of course, we need to have an answer or a reply. If I have a question, I need to get an answer. So, this is this example about questions with the simple past or yes, no questions. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively. Yes, I did. Then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. Okay. Let me bring you the same information. If you see, it's very easy to reply giving a short answer. But what if we want to add some extra information? This is what we are going to do right now. Look. What is the formula? Did, the auxiliary did. Then we have a subject, the verb in the present form, and a complement, right? And of course, it is quite easy to give a short response, affirmative, yes, I did, negative, no, I didn't, yes, you did, no, you didn't. 
Yes, she did. No, she didn't. And so on. You can use the same structure for any type of subject or personal pronouns. So what if we want to add extra information? Look, short form, but in this case, they are giving us extra information. Another sentence, you know, with extra information. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. And in this case, when we give extra information, we are going to change the verb have to the past form. Have, had. Go, went. Okay, can you identify the other ones? What is the past of like? Like. Like. Okay. What is the past of go? Went. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. So it is up to you mm. if you want mm. to give extra information. You are going to decide. Because if you say, yes, I did, that's okay. It's acceptable. If you say, no, I didn't as a short answer, it's acceptable. But what if you want to add extra information? Don't forget that in that case, you are going to change the verb to the past, simple past. So let's practice and you're going to give me your responses, okay? But adding extra information. Vamos, clase. Did you have a great day? Did you have a great day today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did no, you didn't. did you take a shower today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, okay. I take a shower today. I take a shower or I took a shower today. I took. Ah, be careful. I you need to change took. the verb. Uh -huh. I, took I took a shower. Two showers. Mm -hmm. two. Very good. Did you have a great lunch today? No, I didn't. Yes, 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 I did. Yes, yes, I, did. I, no, I did. yes I did. Yes, I did. Very good. No, I didn't. Did you go to work today? No, I didn't. No? Okay, you're a lucky girl. You didn't go to work. Work. Did you go to work today? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, did. I did. No, I didn't, right? Did you have problems with your internet connection tonight? Yes, yeah. I did. No, I didn't. Ah, no, I didn't. No, I didn't, right? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, did you visit any interesting place on vacation? No, I no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. Oh. Did you go to the movies last weekend? No, yes, I no. didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Very good. Did you watch the news today in the morning? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No looking news. You don't like to, to, to watch news? No. No? Okay. <laughs> no or, or maybe to read the newspaper. No. Not even. No. Not you anymore, do. right? You do, uh, no, I like the news. Right. <laughs> okay, right. So you see, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Now I need you to give me extra information, right? 
same idea. Did you go to work today? Mm -hmm. Did, no, no understand. Did you go yes. to work today? Yes, I did. Yes, I, I, did. Did. I did. Yes, I did. I worked in uh, work today. Okay, quedémonos con ese ejemplo único. Did you go to work today? ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Went. Went. Yes, went. I went. went. So, me tenían que responder. I went. I went. I went to work. I went to work. Well, well, work. Went. Why? Oh, yes. Porque esa es mi yes, pregunta. I, I went to work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Si fueron a trabajar, no si trabajaron. Ah, eso es algo diferente, ¿verdad? Right? Did you yes, go? Yes, I did. Did you go to work? Ir al trabajo es una cosa. Trabajar es otra, right? Nah, right? Okay. Okay, this is nah, that's Did you the question? Tell me. Um, oh. This formula yes, se tell puede me. usar con el verbo to be. Porque solo veo otro verbo menos el to be. Ah, veamos. Con el verbo to be, ahí se cambia. Cambia. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo to be? What is the past of verb to be? Was, was, was or were. Where. Where. So, was, where. Was, was and where. where. Exactly. So, we cannot use in this case, did you, did you were or did you was? No. Lo podemos utilizar aunque sea en pasado. En este caso sería otro tipo de estructura. Where, empezamos con ese, el verbo to be. Where or was. If we want to talk about the simple past. Uh -huh. No se usa el auxiliar de, no se usa el el auxiliar. de este verbo. No. Creo que eso está, ah, que ustedes no tienen su libro, ¿verdad? You don't have your book. Nellis. You don't? Sí, sí, <laughs> Okay. But I have it in my book. You know, hay dos formas de hacer preguntas en pasado. Con el auxiliar did o con las WH words también o con el verbo to be. Were you able to connect to this class? ¿Se pudieron conectar a esta clase? Were you able to connect to this class? And we are using where the past form of the verb to be. We cannot use did in that case, okay? So. Okay. Sí, le preguntaba porque veo casi todos los verbos que eh, acá en estas listas que usted nos manda, But excepto no ese. Y yo sé que ese verbo es quizás el más irregular de, de todos los de es, Desde que lo vemos en presente es el más irregular. So, that's it. So, I'm going to send you this link. No, this link, no, this list. So, here we have it. Que al final está el verbo to be, was and were, and that's it. We cannot use it for auxiliary, right? So, class, questions about today's practice. We were just practicing pronunciation mostly, right? Very good. <laughs> so, don't forget to practice. And time is over. We got to go right now. So, thank you so much for joining this class. Tomorrow is Thursday, so we're going to meet tomorrow again, right? Good, good night, teacher. Good night to good you. Night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night to you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher. Yes. Dice que yo me conecté ya de último como a las 9:35. Yes, that is right. Ahorita actualizo la lista, guys. Thank you. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien más? Creo que Wilson también se conectó, right? Oh, ya se me fue. Yes, he was here. Wilson. Well. Sí, él se conectó casi a mediados. Exactly. Claro. He participated, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Bye bye, Kat. Kimberly, yo era la